we looked at a basic form of for loop in our second java program chapter earlier in this course in this lesson we will dive deep into it and try to understand all of its features for loop is an entry controlled loop it has the following syntax as we saw with the other loops use this syntax if you want to repeat a single statement and this one if you want to repeat more than one statement unlike while and do while loops the for loop groups its initialization condition and update parts and mentions it at the start of the loop let's see how each of these parts work in case of for loops statements in the initialization part are executed only once when the program control reaches the for statement for the first time initialization part is executed before the program control enters the loop body it is not executed in subsequent iterations of for loop the condition part is tested on each iteration of the loop condition can be any boolean expression if condition tests true loop body is executed once the condition tests false iteration of the loop stops and program control moves to the statement immediately after the for loop statements in the increment decrement part of for loop are executed at the end of each iteration let's switch to blue jay and see these concepts in practice this program prints the tables of 2 and 13 till 12 let me execute the program and get the output the execution of demo for loop method begins from this statement Since this is the first time that the program control has reached the beginning of this for loop the initialization part of the loop is executed it declares an int variable i and assigns it a value of 1 next the condition of the loop is checked i is less than 12 so the condition tests true and first iteration of the for loop begins program control enters the loop body and executes this statement assigning a the value of 2 it moves to the next statement and assigns b the value of 13 next this print ln statement is executed and we get our first output line on the console program control reaches the end of the loop body so it again goes back to the beginning of for loop and executes the increment decrement part the value of i gets incremented to 2 and with this the first iteration of for loop completes program control then tests the condition to see if it can start the second iteration condition tests true and second iteration of for loop begins note that initialization part of the loop is not executed now as it is executed only once when the program control encounters the for loop for the first time similar to the first iteration a gets assigned the value of 4 b gets assigned the value of 26 and the second output line is printed to the console program control goes back to the beginning of the loop executes the increment decrement part changing the value of i to 3 iteration of the for loop continues in a similar manner till the 12th iteration in the 12th iteration after executing this statement program control goes back to the beginning of the loop and executes the increment decrement part changing the value of i to 13 this completes the 12th iteration now when the program control tests the condition it becomes false as i is now greater than 12 so the 13th iteration of the for loop is not started program control moves to this statement after the for loop a new line and then now you know for loop gets printed to the console as this is the last statement of demo for loop method execution of the program completes now you should have a good understanding of how for loop works there is another important thing that i want to discuss with you which often causes a lot of confusion it is regarding the loop control variable This i is called the loop control variable as it controls the number of iterations of the loop. Notice that we have declared i inside this opening and closing bracket in the initialization part of this for loop. When we declare a variable like this, 
its scope is limited only to the for loop inside which it is declared. So, this i is seen only within the code block of this for loop. Outside the for loop, the variable i does not exist. Let me show it to you in code. I am trying to print i's value outside the for loop, but I am getting a compile time error as i does not exist outside the for loop. Most of the times, the loop control variable is only used within the loop. It is not needed outside. But if you need to use it outside the loop too, then you should declare it outside for like this. Now this print ln is not giving any error as i is available outside the loop too. The initialization and increment decrement part of the for loop can contain more than one statement. In the next lesson, we will see such for loops.